the cheesecake factory apparently was not good enough for the simp, right? You know, what really bothered me about that entire video, and, and I gotta give some credit to the guy, but ultimately, he was at the mercy of this entitled, you know, BW. He, she even locked him out of his own car. She was appalled that he had taken her to a, a, a cheesecake factory. Now, I, I don't know about you guys or, you know, cheesecake is very popular. It's a very popular food choice. Well, technically it's a dessert, right? It's very popular. A lot, a lot of people love cheesecake. Now, me personally, I'm a little bit wired differently. I don't really necessarily enjoy a cheesecake. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You can, you can, uh, you know, come at me later or whatnot, but that's just me. But um, I know, very unpopular. But the thing is, women, this woman was, you already knew what her intentions were. Because I had to watch the clip a few times uh, to fully grasp and understand what her intentions were. Her intentions were clear. She was going to record this guy. She obviously knew that this guy was naive, a gentleman, you know, a nice guy, had, had a lot of money, you know, was making bank. So, in her mind, she knew that she could take advantage, right? She knew that she could get one over on this guy, get a free meal, and make content for her TikTok, whatever, right? Because she instantly got on the phone. And you see, that right there is very disrespectful. Because if you're taking a woman out on a date, right, she's in your vehicle and whatnot, it's very disrespectful for her to have her phone out and record you. Now, at that point, the, the date should have been over, okay? Me, personally, that date would have been over because there's no way that you're going to record me taking you to a to a you know cheesecake factory and you're shaming me in public because I decided to take you to a cheesecake factory which what is wrong with cheesecake you know what I'm saying but she thought that she was too good to be you know quote unquote courted at a cheesecake factory you know very entitled you know, who do you think you are? You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be grateful and appreciative that this guy offered to take you out. You know, in my opinion, the guy was taking way too much shit from the woman. Um, he was being too much of a pushover. Um, he was stuttering a little bit. And obviously, he was visibly upset that... You know, she pretty much refused to go to a cheesecake factory. That she wanted, she didn't want to get out the car, right? She refused to get out the car. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I do respect him though for taking her home, ending the date. She wanted to, you know, act. You know, she wanted to act like she was all that, right? That she's too good. And that, you know, she's above a cheesecake factory. And originally they had, um, they had a reservation for a different restaurant. That was up to her speed, right? And he was going to take her to this restaurant and pay. Mind you, their reservations were at like four o'clock. And he, I think four or five, I'm not even sure. But he was on time. Bro was on time to pick her up. But apparently he had to wait an entire hour for her to, you know, get herself ready. Decked up and everything. Which, that's very disrespectful. 
If a woman's gonna have you wait, man, for like a whole hour, man, you're better off just driving off, calling it a damn day. Cause she's wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? Especially if she knew in advance that um, y'all made, you know, that he made reservations for the night out at this specific, you know, specific restaurant. So now that has to get canceled. See, they wouldn't have had to go to a cheesecake factory if she was just on time and punctual. You know what I'm saying? And she did not trust him enough to for him to be in her own apartment. It's kind of funny because um, you know, he trusts you to be in his car. Right? So there's a level of trust being established there. And it's like, you know. I just think it's very weird, man, because I just look at the video for what it is, and she knew what, what she was doing. Her intentions were very clear. Women like her will play these games, and they will be in this state of hypergamy where they want to date up, and they think that they deserve the best of the best when it comes to a man, right? With a lot, especially with a lot of money. You know, but a guy with a lot of money, what we have learned is that um, that doesn't exactly equate to confidence, you know, and you can tell the guy was lacking confidence. You can tell that, you know, he never has dealt with a woman like that before. You know, she was not up to his speed. And here in America, the dating culture is very fucked up. It's very fucked up. It's nothing like how it is in maybe in India, other countries, a little bit more sophisticated and more traditional. America, there's a whole bunch of whoredom going on. There's a whole bunch of foolishness going on. You know, people just getting into these meaningless uh, transactional relationships nowadays and there's there's no benefit from either party you know but she was looking to get a free meal and you know she knew that the guy had the had the bag so she was out to target him and you know sucks for her her plan did not come to fruition because she didn't get she didn't get a free meal out of the guy. And thank God that she did not. Thank God that the guy had enough balls to, to you know to you know send her home to end the date. You know. But me personally, I don't think I would have taken her home. I probably would have sent her a couple dollars for an Uber and she can go about her way. Because I don't want that energy in my car. I don't want that type of woman around me at all. Because if I know you're just looking to go out with me and F with me because I have money, then I know you're not real. I know that you're fake and you're disingenuous. You know, you're not rocking with me for me, you know? That's why for me, when I eventually do make it and I'm in a place where I'm financially secure, I'm just gonna, you know, play broke, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna act like I'm broke, you know? When the entire time I got a lot of money, but I'm gonna play broke just to really test the mind, the mindsets of these females and where they're at. And, some, and sometimes, guys, you gotta do that to see where they stand. And women like her, they're not going to appreciate a good guy when it's in front of them. They're just not. So, at the end of the day, you know, he was being taken advantage of. And it's very, it's, it's very, uh, you know, unfortunate that bro had to come into contact with this woman. You, 
know, that he pretty much went fishing and, you know, he dug out a freaking whale. He dug out a whale. He got unlucky. You know? Hopefully, he learns from this lesson. And, you know, he does better for himself and improves his life going forward because it's kind of like an L for him. You know, he was probably hoping to get her in the bedroom. You know, obviously, that had been his goal all along, right? Take her out to dinner, pay for the meal, and hook up. You know what I'm saying? But that it didn't come to fruition for him. You know? That's why a lot of you guys, and I'm speaking for myself too, you know, you have to prioritize self-improvement. You got to get to a place in your life where you develop your life and stop chasing these females. Stop looking for their validation. If you know you're not ready to date or to deal with women, then, hey man, you got to get to work. You got some work that got to be done. You know, you may not be in a place, help, you know, mentally, mentally or spiritually to where you can deal with women. And but, that, but that's where you got to be honest with yourself and really look at who you are right now. Because who you are right now is not attractive to that woman. You have to understand that. You have to be honest with yourself. You know, who you are right now. You know, you are not that woman's cup of tea. You know, who you are right now is not good enough for dating. And that's just a cold hard truth. I think as sometimes as men in this generation, especially we we're trying too hard to come across as the nice guy. And we want to buy a woman's love, buy a woman's acceptance, right? By, you know, buying her gifts, paying for meals, buying her flowers, jewelry. Like, you want to buy our way into a woman's life. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just being that guy that she naturally gravitates towards. Instead, we want to do all this extra stuff just to get her attention, just to get her to, you know, pay some type of attention to us and spend a, a, a night out with us, right? It's not going to lead to anything. It's not going to, it's not going to lead you of, it's not going to lead of, you know, you getting her in the bedroom, bro. It's not. It's not going to equivalent you effing her in the bedroom. It's not. It really isn't. Because at the end of the day, she's not impressed of what you're doing for her. She's not, she's not excited. And I can tell by looking at her face, she was definitely not going to give it up to the to bro. Definitely not. She was definitely not, you know, going to show him a good time. That's for sure. But at the end of the day, she wanted to use him. You know, her behavior was very poor. She obviously, you know, is looking for a handout. And you guys cannot deal with women like this, man. Like, how does a woman lock you out of your own car? Like, she's going to talk all nice and soft to you. But then when she pulls that phone out, she has a different type of energy about herself. And, and saying some stuff like, oh, well, we're going to talk about it. Yeah, you can get back in the car. We're going to talk about it. Oh, I'm too good for a cheesecake. Oh, honey, I need to be courted. Bro, the way she was talking, bro. 
it's like that humbleness just went away. It's like her off camera versus when she's on camera, you know, he probably saw a softer side of her, humbled, uh, more down to earth. And then when she put out that camera, he saw a whole different side to her that he never seen before. And that's probably why he was a little shooken up. That's probably why he was stuttering a little bit. That's probably why, you know, he had no words because he was shocked at how she was behaving all of a sudden. It's like, how dare you take me to a cheesecake factory? So it's just incredibly disrespectful, man. That's why you can't go out your way for, for women like that, man. Like me personally, I'm not a big fan of dinner dates. I never really took a woman out on a dinner date. I don't mind, you know, taking a walk with a woman, taking her to the movies, you know what I'm saying? Chilling at the boardwalk, at the beach, you know what I'm saying? Like a restaurant, a rest, a restaurant is not the perfect place to develop a connection with a woman, in my opinion. You understand? That's not the way to develop a, re a relationship with a woman. Because there's so much noise. There's so much going on in a restaurant. You know, you can't really say certain things. You can't really do what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, really bond and connect with her. It's just kind of like a lose-lose, man. You know? It's all, you know, it's really just about her attacking your wallet. And that's it. She's not going to give it up to you. Because at the end of the day, she looked at the guy like a sucker. She looked at the guy like a simp. And that's what he was being. Sorry to say it, but it's the truth. He allowed himself to get caught up in how much money he's making. And probably when he met her or approached her or whatnot, it was probably all about him uh, showing off the money. You know, leading with his pockets. And that's something you just can't do as a man. You can't lead with your pockets. Because then you're just creating this unrealistic expectation that, oh, since you have a lot of money, you can buy me this. You can buy me this expensive uh, pocketbook. You can buy me all this jewelry. You can take me out to a fancy, expensive five-star restaurant. You can do all the... You, you can pay for everything. Like, all a whole bunch of things are going to go through her head that, you know, knowing that this guy got a lot of money, right? Knowing that his bank account is fat, right? So now she's going to want to take advantage, you know? And that's the only reason why she'll talk to the guy. And that should be a lesson for him to never lead, you know, with his pockets. He should just come as he is. Be himself. You know what I'm saying? If who, and if who you are right now is not good enough, then you don't need to be out in the dating scene. You need to be improving your life, man. And that's really the... The point of this message, I want to give my take on this whole cheesecake woman thing, like this this woman that's going viral right now. Um, you know, you can tell she has done this before, and she's probably waiting for another sucker to come by. So, you know, so this is something that she will most likely do again. But me personally, I would have just called her an Uber. I don't want you in my vehicle. You got that phone out trying to record me, trying to make me feel bad about taking you to a cheesecake factory. Nah, you got to go. Nah. Ain't no way that I'm putting up with that bullshit. Because, first of all, the guy was being a gentleman by even just opening the door for her, right? 
I just cannot get over that, you know, she locked the man out of, out of his own car. How, how do you just lock a man out, out of his own car? You know, that whole trust thing is kind of BS to me because, you know, he allowed you in the vehicle. If you felt so unsafe, like, oh, I, I don't really feel safe of letting this man into my house, but you had no problem getting into his car. Let's really think about that. She had no problem getting inside his vehicle. And she was comfortable enough to put out, you know, talk her mess, you know, record, go on TikTok, lock, lock the man out of his own vehicle and start hyping herself up as this, you know, as this queen. I need to be courted. I need to be catered to. She started hyping herself up as this high valued woman. That's what she started to do. But let me know your comments down below. You know, I gave my take on this whole, uh, you know, cheesecake woman. You know, that's what we're going to call a cheesecake woman. She's more so an, an entitled woman. That's what she is. So with that being said, you know, I think that should be a lesson for all men. And... You know, don't be like that guy, man. Don't end up in that same situation like that dude. You know, he wasn't used to the American culture or, you know, he just wasn't used to dealing with them type of women here in the States. And I can understand that, you know, he's probably used to dealing with his own race, which is understandable, right? But he just caught himself in some bad luck and, uh, you know... Hopefully he, hopefully he takes his life more seriously going forward. Like from a self-improvement standpoint, you know, just works on himself. You know what I'm saying? So I said enough. This is Mr. Solo Dolo. Thank you all for watching. Like the video for the algorithm and I'm out. More videos are to come and peace.